Mutar Kent is my guest at the World Economic Forum. Andrea, delighted to have you here, Mutar. Uh, you. you know, Coca-Cola has committed uh, to expansion in China, India, Africa, across the globe. Those are the world's fastest growing markets. But in some of those markets, we're seeing some alarming signs of social unrest. A lot of it has to do with food prices. And as you know, social unrest can lead to growing political instability. Uh, how do you look at that part of the world and how do the signs of uh, do those signs affect your investment decisions? Firstly, um, I think we look at the world as a, a great opportunity everywhere we do business, 206 markets. Obviously, uh, the places that you've mentioned, um, Asia particularly, is a very fast-growing area, but also across Latin America and other parts of the world. And food prices um, have been uh, showing some signs of increasing uh, commodities also. Uh, but we feel that um, there, there's a role for business uh, collaborating with uh, um, civil society, uh, also governments, to try to work really down the supply chain uh, for more innovation uh, so that we can even out some of these vagaries in pricing that we, we, we're seeing. And I think there's a, a, we're going to see more innovation in that area. Right now, food prices are on the rise. There's, it's, it's kind of a, a, a short term and a long term here. Uh, the long term uh, is more because the middle class is rising uh, and there's more demand. Uh, but the short term is elimination of subsidies, uh, uh, vagaries of the weather uh, that we've seen, uh, climate change, uh, and also some speculation. And I, I believe that uh, it's, it's, it's uh, something that's transient and that uh, we will s not see uh, major uh, social uh, issues like uh, we saw two, three years ago. Most of what we're talking about are basic foodstuffs sugar, wheat, things of that nature, but many of these commodities that we're talking about uh, are commodities that go are raw materials for your own products. Can you keep prices under control to the point where consumers are still able to afford Coke products? We do our best uh, through um, um, long-term hedging uh, uh, policies, but also through, uh, as I said, working with our suppliers. Uh, uh, innovating down the supply chain, uh, innovating in our in our, in our products, uh, and um, and some of it uh, we can uh, certainly even out, and some uh, we have to uh, have a very mindful eye on our other costs to make sure that uh, we remain competitive in the marketplace, and that's what we're doing. What are your next steps going to be to shore up uh, your market position in America? Well. Uh, I'm happy you asked that question because we at Coca-Cola see the United States as a growth market. In fact, uh, we in the last uh, 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 three quarters of last year, we have uh, uh, sh uh, shown that we can grow in, the, in, in our business in the United States. One of the basic reasons is the demographics of the United States, if you look in, into the next 15, 20 years, are very positive. It's the only country in the Western world that has a young population, a, a, a high uh, percentage of teens. In fact, after China and India, by 2020, it will have the third highest teen population in the world. The birth rate is now uh, at par with Mexico, or even past that of Mexico. And that, that says a lot. It, it, the, a, a population that is young and that is diverse is good for innovation, good for entrepreneurial spirit. And that's why uh, we believe that the, uh, our future in America is very bright and we see it as a growth market. How much of a role is social networking going to play in Coke's relationship with its consumers, particularly in America, but perhaps elsewhere as well? I think in a nutshell, it social is... Social media, social networking, it, Facebook, whatever. Huge. And, and, and a lot of our innovation in the last... Uh, a um, few years has come in that area, in, 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 in our marketing, in how we uh, uh, approach social media, digital, uh, the digital platforms, uh, my Coke rewards. Uh, I mean, is it the most important ingredient to marketing today? It's one of the most important ingredients, and it's a, a way that you can engage with your consumers in a much more meaningful way, and it's also a way that allows you to live your reputation every day because that's the really only way that you can retain and grow and enhance your reputation. So as the CEO of a company as large as Coca-Cola, you believe in social media, you believe in social networking. This is not some passing fad and there's good reason perhaps why companies like Facebook are getting $50 billion valuations? 
Well, that's another reason why but, our Facebook page uh, is one of the largest in the world with uh, almost 20 million uh, members now. So it's, it is for real, here to stay. It's here to stay. It's here that it, it will increasingly be more important and not just... Is the, it, is in it, the, it, the, the phenomenon is that in the past it was important more in the Western world and the rich uh, in, the, in the world that was more affluent. No, it's a world phenomenon. Is it going to reduce your advertising budgets over time? Well, it is going. It's certainly going to have us end up with a different mix uh, in terms of our media. Uh, but certainly, uh, we see that as a very effective way of uh, communicating, engaging. Uh, uh, with consumers, our consumers, and, and in, in also um, enhancing our reputation. Well, we'll be looking to see what you do in social media and elsewhere. Mutar Kent, thank you so much for joining us here at the World Economic Forum. You heard it from Mutar Kent, the CEO of Coke.